On this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about activity profiles. Now, activity profiles allow you to create certain preferences, um, certain driving profiles, which allow you to specify avoidances en route or um, uh, preferences in terms of how fast you drive on types of roads, um, all manner of things. So the best thing to do is for us to dive in, really. I'll click on the edit menu here and go down to options. Then click on activity profile. Now you'll see I've got this set to direct. I normally have um, the system set up by default to direct. Uh, direct will just, by default, when you create a route, it will draw a straight line between points on route. The beauty of using that, that, that mode is, well, there's a couple of reasons I do that. First of all, it doesn't recalculate every time we drop in a new point. Um, so I tend to use direct mode. And then when I have finished laying out the basic outline of the route, then I would change that route to a specific activity profile. There's also an advantage to using direct mode when you're importing GPX files or tracks. Um, and then you subsequently wish to turn them into uh, routes and that will be covered under a separate video. But just looking down these activity profiles, at the top here above this line, this dividing line, we've got the default ones that come with Basecamp. So these are these are ones that Garmin has set up. Um, and if we just take a look at one of these, uh, so I'd use motorcycling ordinarily, you can see you can select the types of features to be displayed on the map. So you can customize the map even to a specific activity profile. OK, so you can turn off certain points of interest. Now, if you do off roading, for instance, you probably wouldn't be interested in uh, you know, banks. <laughs> um, the reset option here allows you to change these uh, activity profiles back to their default settings. So if you if you customized one of the preset ones and made a mess of it and then decided you wish to revert back to its default settings, you could do that using that reset button here. It's also worth knowing you can create your own profiles using this button here, add activity profile. That allows you to create your own custom one based on a, a preset one. So that's quite useful to know. And in fact, I have done that in the case of these, these options here. I created my own dedicated activity profiles. Then under the routing tab, we can specify whether the profile is going to be faster time based on faster time, shorter distance or curvy roads. And this is quite useful, especially on all the GPS units that may not necessarily have the curvy roads option built into the GPS. Um, it's a means of planning routes. If you particularly want to use that methodology, uh, you could create them on Basecamp and then export them to the, to the GPS unit um, and get around it that way. And then moving on to other options, we got we can specify types of road avoidance. So these are using US terms. Obviously, Garmin, a US company, but effectively in terms of the UK, <coughs> at least an interstate would equate to uh, a motorway. Major highways um, would equate to a roads, probably state highways. Um, sorry, major highways would be dual carriageways, probably state highways, a roads, uh, residential roads that would be the same. And you could say avoid unpaved roads uh, and feature type avoidances so you can say avoid ferries toll roads any of these items here cable cars yeah probably good to avoid on a on most vehicles uh, you can also select um, specific areas you'd like to avoid that's quite useful to know and then finally you can customize your average speed so these are used to calculate the expected times when um, when you create routes so you can customize those to your to your own preferences and essentially when you create a route you can select an activity profile before you create the route from here so you might select driving let's just zoom in And let's 
just draw draw a route uh, we'll kill that and we'll just do it manually so let's drive from there to there to there and you can see as I'm adding each point it is actually calculating the route along the way and it's doing it using that driving profile you see on the left side over here we've got the little car icon so that tells us which activity profile is being used to create the route we're working on okay right click to stop that and we could change we could change to a motorcycling profile and create a new route let's go from here to here to here And again, you can see very quickly on that left hand pane that it's updating the route, well, it's updating the route names, but it's, it's telling us which activity profile is being used. And finally, the way I usually do them, as I mentioned, is using direct mode. And you'll see very quickly that this is actually quite a quick way of creating a route because it doesn't do any recalculating in between adding new points so you can very very quickly just put stick points down on a map using that profile okay it's not especially useful because it doesn't give you any useful information but when I've finished doing that what I will normally do is open up you know, just double click it and then change the profile to motorcycling in my case so it doesn't do the calculation until I've finished plotting the routes uh, points. And there we go. And you see at the top we've got summary, expected moving time, total time, the distance covered. We can go in at any point and change any of these to different profiles. So we could take the driving one there and change it to mountaineering. Could be interesting. I'm not sure what difference that's going to make. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there we go, indeed. So that's a brief overview of activity profiles. Uh, you can further customize if you actually, if you're working on a specific route, you can actually go in and. Um, customize a very specific route without changing an activity profile so you just click on the customize route options radio button here and then you've got similar to what you have under the activity profiles you can specify some of those things there so if you've got one particular route you're doing in a particular way and you don't want to change or create uh, an activity profile that's the way you can do that okay Hopefully that's been of some help to everyone. Thanks for watching.